Hi, and welcome to Cord Cutters LI. I'm sure by now everyone has the new Amazon Fire Stick update that looks like this. Or if you're new to the Amazon Fire Stick and you have one of these and you just set it up, what you might not know is that Amazon has incorporated a whole bunch of settings that tracks everything that you do on the Amazon Fire Stick, from the movies and TV shows that you watch to the games or apps that you install. They monitor everything. There are a number of privacy settings that are built into the Amazon Fire Stick that everyone really should be turning off right now. I'm going to show you step by step how to change each and every one of these settings. It's only going to take a few minutes and you'll feel a lot better that you've done it. But before I do, if you like what I do here at Cord Cutters LI, please click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Are you ready to learn how to keep Big Brother from watching everything you do? Grab your remote. Let's go. All right, so before we get started, I just wanted to show you all that I'm using the Fire Stick OS 7. This is the latest Fire Stick. This one is the non 4K version of the Fire Stick. Actually, this one here has the new, uh, the four buttons, you know, for the Netflix, um, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All the settings I'm going to show you today are virtually identical to the Fire OS version 6, like I'm showing here on this Amazon 4K Fire Stick. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button here. So with the older interface, as you know, to get to the settings, you need to go up to the top of the screen and go all the way over to the right. Well, here we don't need to go to the top, but you have this middle row where all of your uh, the favorites are and so on. And over to the right, you have the gear. So you can go into the gear and then move down. And we're going to move over to applications first. There's only one setting in here that we're going to really want to change, and that is under the game circle. If you install or if you play any games on the Amazon Fire Stick, this game circle keeps track of all of the content and the, uh, the progress of all of those games. So you can either decide to turn this off or on. I don't play games, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. So let's go back. And the more important settings are mostly going to be in the preferences area here. So click on preferences. This will bring you to parental controls first. If you have any young kids at home and you want to prevent them from um, app purchases or certain content, you can go ahead and set your parental controls here. It's pretty simple. You just go ahead and turn it on and um, enter in a code. But we're, we're going to skip that setting for now. And we'll move down to privacy settings. Here's where they really start to keep track of everything that you do. So it, it, these may seem self-explanatory, but all of these are turned on by default. And in fact, if you've recently gotten the new update, some of these settings get turned back on, even if you turn them off. So if you haven't checked these settings lately, you're going to want to go back in and make sure that these are all turned off. So we'll go into device user data. And as you can see here, you can read the description later, but trust me, you're going to want to turn this off. So we'll click turn off. Move down to collect app usage data. Same thing applies here. We definitely don't want to be allowing them to keep all of our usage data. No need for that. So we'll go in there and turn that off. Definitely don't want any interest-based ads. What this setting is all about is Amazon will keep track of what you view, what you watch, and try to sell you content um, in various ways based on that. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Next thing we will want to do is turn off all of the data monitoring settings. So we'll go into data monitoring and just turn that off. It's one click. We'll go back to notification settings. We'll definitely want to turn this on where it says do not interrupt. It's sort of a oxymoron, right? So we'll click on for do not interrupt. If you wanted to, you could leave that off and then you could go into each one of the applications and select which apps you want to be able to notify you of things or not. But here I believe it's best just to turn this off. Next thing is featured content. This is that uh, screen that's at the top of your fire stick, like this or like this. So those little mini trailers will automatically play if you, if you have these settings on. And those use resources of the fire stick. As you know, the Amazon fire stick is already sort of slim on resources. So we don't want to use up any resources that we don't need. So let's go ahead and turn both of these off. 
So that's it. Three or four minutes is all it takes to protect your privacy and keep what you do online on your Amazon Fire Stick private and to yourself. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out for Cord Cutters LI, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.